Hello guys, it's Fluffy Turns. Welcome back to a new video. It is my Black Ops video. It's a team death match on the map Villa. I'm using a Enfield with extended mags. I believe I've got care package, Blackbird and Dogs. Uh, don't hold me to that, but I believe that's what, I've, what I'm using. And I'll go 30 for 5, but I don't really want to talk about the video. I actually want to talk about Black Ops 2 because obviously... I'm starting to get get excited, like not excited, but I'm starting to look forward to it because I'm getting hyped for it. I'm listening to all these uh, new stuff that's coming out, or everyone's different opinions on their videos. Um, so I just want to give you guys my two cents. Basically, I'm going to talk about stuff that I want uh, to be brought forward from Modern Warfare 3 into Black Ops. Stuff that I'm hoping that Black Ops keeps the same. Um, and I just want you guys to obviously leave your comments to uh, let me know if you agree or what, you, what, what would you like to, for them to keep or chains and stuff like that. So all in all, um, hopefully you guys enjoy this. But as you see, I'm using a gold Enfield at the moment. I love the way uh, Black Ops done it where you had to get to a, a, a higher prestige in order to unlock the gold gun. Then you had to get your 50,000 uh, credits to actually buy the um, actual the camo me personally I enjoyed that more because it gave me more of a challenge to try and get every single gold gun possible at the moment as it stands I think I still need three more gold guns to complete this uh, every single one and I will get them before Black Ops 2 comes out because then I know Black Ops is the game's complete maybe keep a similar sort of thing where you level the gun up to get the gold uh, camo but only allow it for higher prestige per me personally because at the moment the gold guns are just too common everyone's got a gold gun there on Modern Warfare 3 and I just think it spoils it a bit secondly I'm hoping they go back to where you get your grenades and flashbangs when you pick up a scavenger bag possibly a way to look at it if you got the scavenger bags and it's just a normal one not pro you just pick up your flashbangs or your smoke grenades and stuff like that but if it's a pro like scavenger pro you should be able to pick up your grenades because the amount of times in modern warfare 3 that i throw a grenade and i'm like i need another grenade now about two three minutes down the line where you're still alive for a while so that's my personal opinion hopefully they'll bring back that hopefully they will get hopefully hopefully they'll get rid of bloody uh, last stand and martyrdom or the c4 one they've got on Modern Warfare 3 because they are absolutely and utterly annoying there must be some better way of giving a player that hasn't played as much before or not as good as it, um, as the people he's playing against better incentives instead of just giving them mighty dom just drop a grenade because they're not actually learning from it in my personal opinion all right they're getting a cheap kill um, which is annoying for us but they're not benefiting from it you maybe give them I don't know, something like a flat jacket instead. That might benefit them more, more chance of actually getting a kill, because obviously it take more hits for them. Um, so in, in fairness, the only way you're actually going to get better as a player is by playing, learning and evolving. Obviously the only way you can do that is by playing good players. Um, you will start off bad, but you will, you will get better. Everyone gets better. No one stays bad for uh, long. If you keep playing it, keep going at it. That's my personal opinion on that. Um, but I won't go on because I can go on all night about that. Uh, also, I want to talk about kill streaks as well. Regarding, I'm hoping they bring some stuff from MW3 and keep some stuff from Black Ops as well to make it a bit more better. Um, what stuff I want to keep that your actual kills are the only thing that counts towards getting your next uh, kill streak. Um, I don't really like the idea of using your Predator Missile to get your um, attack helicopter, to get your uh, chopper gunner or something like that, because I personally think that it's easy. Um, but with running around with the guns, it was more of an achievement for me personally to get dogs constantly, where you get up to 10-11 kills, depends on what your perks you're running. Um, also, I'm hoping that they actually keep... Uh, the option of choosing your different uh, kill streaks, i.e., you can actually put, use your D-pad to change it. Obviously, so if you've got all three 
kill streaks. You don't have to use like you do on Black Ops at the moment. Use the last one first uh, in order to get to the others. So um, I will do another little video on Friday. As I did say it'd be a random video this week. I probably, if you guys got any questions, you want me to answer, I will add that on to Friday's one. Um, but I'll try and get into a bit more detail with stuff I'm going on about. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the gameplay should have been okay for you. So all in all, have fun guys.